Hi everyone, our lesson today is permutation without replacement, repetition or return. And we are going to solve the following problem. We have a set of four distinct objects. These objects are numbered from 1 to 4. We are going to withdraw using the following rules. What are they? First, we are withdrawing these objects in four consecutive turns. And second, we are not returning any object after each withdrawal. And the last one, we are going to write down the number of these withdrawn objects in order. So let's see how to do that. So now we have the urn with four objects. And we are going to withdraw the first object and keep it outside. And now we are left with three objects only. After that, we mix all these objects together. Why? To make sure that the event of the withdrawal is random event. We withdraw the second object and we keep it outside or we write its name down in order. So the first object we have withdrawn is 2 and the second now is 1 and we do not return any object to the urn now we are left with two objects which is four and three we mix all these objects together and we withdraw for the third time we take this object we keep it outside and write its name down so now we have two one four we do not return so we are left only with one object we can mix and again, for the fourth time, we withdraw the last object here. So now we have a sequence 2, 1, 4, 3 written in order. Now, all this, if we repeat this process from 0 until here, we are going to generate another sequence. So this is known as one withdrawal cycle to generate one random sequence such as 2, 1, 4 and 3 and each time we repeat it we are going to generate another sequence so first cycle let's say we get sequence 2, 1, 4, 3 and second cycle we get another sequence third cycle another sequence and so on so now we are going to use the tree diagram to compute the number of all possible outcomes or the number of all sequences that may be generated from the previous experiment. According to these rules, we are withdrawing four consecutive times without return and in order. So let's see. First withdrawal, we may withdraw object number one, two, three, and four, but in the second withdrawal, if we withdraw number two, then we are left with three objects only two excluded from it so now we have object number one three and four and for the third withdrawal let's say we have withdrawn two and then one now we are what is remaining in the urn is three and four and in the in the fourth withdrawal let's say we have withdrawn two and then one and three the possibility is only four because three one and two object has been withdrawn without return before so what are all these outcomes 3 4 2 1 for example or 2 4 1 3 here and now we want to compute all these possible outcomes so we divide the mother tree into four sub trees how many possible outcome in each sub tree 3 times 2 times 1 and we add them together and we get 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and we write that concisely as 4 factorial so what is 4 factorial it's a product from 4 to 1 of all natural numbers 
in descending order or we say four factorial is a product from one to four of all natural numbers in ascending order that's four factorial and now we can write that as formula npn so p is permutation which includes order and we write no annotation here so so if there is no annotation it means without replacement or without repetition so here we are not going to find the same the same symbol repeated again we are not going to find sequence like a d d b d d cannot be repeated twice so here we have permutation without replacement or without repetition or without return for n object taken n at a time where this second n here is sequence length or the size of the sequence so we read it permutation without replacement of n different ordered event or objects taken n at a time so there is different notation in other books which is p between parentheses we have n and n equal to n factorial so this n is the number of objects in the set and the other n is number of ways of event occurrences here we have four events or the length of event sequence or the length of the generated sequence all means the same or number is a symbol in the sequence so if the sequence contains four symbols then it is four if it contains ten symbols then it is ten so what are the conditions to apply this formula? First one, order. Second, without replacement. And third, number of objects is equal to the size of the generated sequence. So now going back to the same, same issue. First thing we have to do, define the event. First event, with the first ball second event withdrawing the second ball and third event withdrawing the third ball and fourth event withdrawing the fourth ball so now we have to find n and r what is n is a number of all the objects which is four and what is r sequence length or size of point sample of size of the sequence which is four because each sequence is composed of four letters now we have to ask ourselves is order important so if we have this sequence order yes is important so one two three four is not similar to one two four three and the, re and the reason is order now is withdrawing without replacement now we find here that there is no repetitive object so that means yes without replacement is n equal to r yes n equal to r equal to 4 so we can apply the formula p and r equal n factorial we substitute and we get 24 in general, we can use the following table to compute the number of possible sequences of event. So what is this table? This table contains all the events written in order from the first to the fourth. So the first event may happen in four ways, the second event in three ways, the third event in two ways, the fourth event in one way. We multiply them together and we get the number of all possible sequences or the number of all possible outcome and that's it thank you very much for listening and have a good day